Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a video I've been wanting to film for so long and it's the end of March. It's the end of March. I'm wearing shorts today. Everything just feels amazing. Okay, so start off. You know when you're in school, have no friends and a book becomes your favorite friend? A lot of people are like grown during silent reading time and you're like, yes, silent reading time. That is what all these books are. <laughs> and um, originally I was just going to title this my favorite romance novels of all time just a classic little title like that and then I realized looking at my hefty stack here that literally all of these books are best friends fall in love romance best friends turn to love so I guess I have a type um, but I'm also very picky and these are literally the best books I would say of all time romance wise and that's why I'm filming this video because there's nothing worse than when you go through book after book and you're just like bland. I feel like if you don't like reading it's just because you haven't found the right book because I mean when I'm reading something boring it's not fun and I wouldn't like reading either. So if you are a romantic gal like me and you're looking for some romantic book suggestions please stick around and let's get this show on the road. Also if you see the top of my head in this video no you do not. Just pretend that's one of those um daylight lights that people get in the winter when the sun isn't out and let it give you some endorphins. So I showed you this stack before and these are all of the books I own that I love but keep in mind a lot of the books I get are just from the library because I only own a book if I'm like in love with it. I just have like a line of books that are my favorite of all time and besides that I do not. I know some people own hordes of books and have a, their own library etc but I just keep these in a little shelf in my bedroom. And the rest of the books that I'm going to be mentioning that aren't in this stack are still the best. I just didn't get them for myself or get them as a gift, etc. And I got them from the library instead. And that's just how I find most of my books. And then of course you buy them if you like them. All right, all right, all right. I was gonna start with my very favorite ever, but I think we're gonna save that best for last. So not to say that all these books aren't my very favorite ever because I would not be making this video if they weren't my favorite of all time and just spark something in my heart. Okay, first one, because I read this book for the first time last week or so. Punk 57. <laughs> now, don't get swayed by the title. It's kind of a weird title. Kind of love it though. Punk 57 is literally perfect in every way. This is by Penelope Douglas and she has so many more novels and I'm so excited. I've put on hold at the library a couple of other her novels because she has a series and I'm so excited to read it. But Punk 57 is a best friend's fall in love romance book. When you first start out, start out you don't really know what's happening but the action comes on quick. It um, diversifies between Misha, who is the boy of this romance, and Ryan, who is the girl. And they become pen pals in like fifth grade, but it doesn't really... The book does not start out in fifth grade, but they became pen pals in fifth grade. But these two people live two towns away from each other, and one day at a party, Misha goes to... Misha is in a band, and he goes to this party, and he meets this girl, and she just sparks something in him. He's like, and he's had girlfriends before and he's told Ryan about them but this girl's just different and they made a vow to each other at the beginning of their friendship not to look each other up on social media because that would ruin the surprise of it all but let the lord have it Misha looks her up on social media at this party and the girl standing in front of him is Ryan and he doesn't know what to say because her and her friend group approach him like pretty directly after he realizes it's her and he's kind of still in shock and her friends start flirting with him and then he just so I don't spoil anything else let me just say he does not um, disclose his identity to Ryan she thinks she loves Misha but she starts to know a guy named Mason and let me just leave it at that that book speaks for itself that is one of the best books I've ever read in my life because I cannot stand books that are like build up build up build up and then just one half page talking about a kiss and then it's done like that doesn't do it for me so punk 57 it does it for me guys next on my list of my favorite things of all time catching jordan i read this book in literally sixth grade i read it in sixth grade and i can vaguely remember it i should reread it again but that was one of the first um best friends falling in love books I've ever read and it was the best. It's about this girl named Jordan who is a quarterback but don't let that scare you because I don't like sports either and I thought I would hate this book. I got it from my school library again in sixth grade and I was like Ugh, I'm not the biggest sports person. I might hate this but I turned out to love it because here I am still talking about it 
years later. It's about this girl named Jordan. She's a quarterback. This guy named Ty Green transfers to her school. He's also a quarterback, and you think they would, like, fall in love, right? But she also has a best friend that she's loved since childhood named Henry, and it's amazing. Next is also another one that I read probably about in fall. It's March now. I read this last fall. It's called The Best Laid Plans, and this is also a best friends, of course, falling in love book. They all are. I don't even know why I keep saying that. And this is about a girl... Um, her name kind of annoys me, but it was still good. I looked past it. She has a best friend named Andrew, and she's kind of sad because all her friends, you know, are coupling up, dating up, and she's just kind of left single until she gets a new job, meets a new guy named Dean, who's like the total package, and they fall in love, talking about like old classic movies and stuff like that. But let's just say Andrew is a little bit jealous, has a little bit of a jealousy problem. I think I rated it 4.5 stars out of 5 on Goodreads because I'm a nerd who goes on Goodreads.com. I have for so long. So I would definitely recommend that book. Of course. And now, alright, these next two are trilogies. And usually I'm not a trilogy person, but this, these two are my favorite books, hands down of all time. Forget all the books that I just mentioned because these are top tier. These are my favorite books that I tell everybody on earth about how they're my favorite because I'm just in love with them. So my favorite book that I read when I was 13 I think is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han and everybody knows Jenny Han for To All the Boys I've Loved Before and like all the Netflix series of that and those books are wonderful too but I just gotta tell you no justice is done until this is made into a movie and I wish Jenny, if you're watching this video, I hope I can be Belly in the movie. Literally, I have no um, prior acting skills at all, but for Belly, I would do it. I would become an actress for Belly. I reread these books in woodworking class when we were supposed to be doing the most complicated stuff on the computer with numeric symbols on this weird software and I would sneak reread this book because I just wanted to be anywhere else besides woodshop class and I was rereading this already for like the fourth time and I think I've read this entire series like 10 times like each book once 10 times and I can never get enough of it if I had to be transferred in a world I would definitely be transferred in this world so it's about a girl named Belly Isabella Belly and she has even on the back of this if I could live inside this amazing book, I would. I literally agree with her so much. So, it's about this girl named Belly. She stays each summer of her life. She counts her... She measures her life in summers that she stays with her mom's friend, Susanna, and her two boys, Conrad and Jeremiah, or Conrad and Jeremiah. Never know which one was who on the cover, but I just kind of envision them differently in my head anyways. So, she stays her summers at a beach house with her mom's friend, Susanna, her brother, Stephen, her mom, and then her mom's friend Susanna's two sons and they've known each other their whole life but in the first book something changes when she goes there and she can just feel that she's gotten older and the boys notice too but not in the way you would think it's just very magical and like intimate and romantic in like very gentle movie like ocean like way just like the imagine the wash of a wave washing over you of just the most gentle magical blissful romance and that's what it is and let's just say she gets a chance with both Jeremiah and Conrad. And Conrad, I'm pretty sure, was my first love of my life, honestly, ever. I love him so much. The second book is It's Not Summer Without You. And then the third book of the trilogy, even though I wish it would never end, is We'll Always Have Summer. I have read these books everywhere. Woodworking class, I've read these books in the car at a party I didn't want to be at. I've read these books so many times and they've always transported me and made me feel they're literally my best friends if I had to say these are my best friends in the world okay. and that's just the truth <sighs> all right guys I don't know if I can go on after that but my my next favorite and last favorite on earth are another trilogy which is Anna and the French Kiss trilogy by Stephanie Perkins a very talented author and I'm pretty sure she said she's going to stop writing romance novels if I'm right but I hope I'm wrong because Stephanie if you're seeing this you need to write more you are so so talented you are you and Jenny Han are probably my favorite authors ever and Anna and the French Kiss is one of my favorite books ever it's about this girl named Anna who moves to Paris and she basically falls in love with Etienne St. Clair, who was also one of my crushes. They're best friends at first, but because he's taken by this girl named Ellie, 
but it's just a whirlwind whirlwind romance in set in Paris and it couldn't be better and it's magical and again I would live in that book if I could because it's just formatted so beautifully and like you just never want to stop reading it you love the words so much and the next book in the series is called Lola and the Boy Next Door I'm really weird I don't know why I own these two but not Lola <laughs> just put Lola right here um but Lola and the Boy Next Door is set in San Francisco she's like really into costume design and fashion and it's very like esque in that way and then she falls in love with this guy named Cricket I would say out of these two are my favorite out of the whole trilogy Lola is very good too but it's a little bit less romantic in a way it's like a romantic book yet it kind of takes a while to get there and these two like have a different vibe all these books like have relations to each other yet they're all like different girls stories and then Isla and the Heavily Ever After is um, set back in Paris with this girl named Isla and she falls in love with a every person's dream boy whose name is Josh and it's very romantic and wonderful maybe it's just Paris doing that to me I don't know all these books literally make you fall in love with the characters there's not that many books I do that there's a billion romance novels out there but not all of them make you literally want to date the person in it and that's happened to me I wish all of these guys were my boyfriends because I love them <laughs> but sadly you know it's just a book but uh. also I wish all these books would turn into movies and I wish I could star in every single movie because I'm weird and like I want to live out the life but I do plan on making some more book recommendation videos because like I feel like people need to know where the good stuff's at like it's taken me my whole life of reading to find just these select few and these are like the best out of the best in my book so I hope you guys enjoy if you read them I don't know how you couldn't so I don't even know why I'm saying that like you will enjoy I think that's all I have. I think that's all. See you guys in my next video. My love to you. And I hope I'm giving you my love to you because I'm showing you. I'm displaying my entire heart full of good books here. So. Uh, this is my entire heart of good books displayed for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Together we've climbed hills and trees.